crazy. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. The Winnipeg Blue Bombers are the Eastern Conference champions for the first time in six years. We are going to the Grey Cup. Our Lindsay Duncombe was at yesterday's game in Toronto. She joins us now live from a busy place, the Bomber Store. Absolutely, Janet. This place is packed, and it's been packed all day. The owners have actually extended the hours to 8 o'clock tonight. They say this is the busiest day they've had in three years, and the reason is everyone wants to get their hands on the jerseys, the sweaters, the hats, anything to celebrate that big victory yesterday. Now, I, of course, was in the stands in Toronto yesterday, and in that whole big crowd, I saw lots of this. In a sea of blue, the gold isn't hard to find. Outnumbered, maybe, but Bomber fans went in with confidence. Everybody's just going to come in, take it, and win it again next week, and that's it. They're fantastic, and they're going to win the Grey Cup, and we're here to support them. And no regrets for the price of a plane ticket to get here. It's priceless. <laughs> it's priceless. The blue didn't disappoint. Play after play, a trip to the cup got closer. Then this, the quarterback down. I'm crushed. If his arm is truly broken, uh, I feel so bad for him because he's worked so hard to get here. The backup quarterback holds on for the win, and victory is sweet. We have the cup! We have the cup! I have the faith, boys. I have the faith. They may have faith, but can they get to the big game? Last we checked, the flights were sold out. The only option? Take a bus tour arranged by this guy in the heart of enemy territory. Everybody wants to go now. Back in Winnipeg, Scott Hollywood rented his own bus and is looking online for 40 fans who want to make the 24-hour drive with him. Saskatchewan, Winnipeg in the Grey Cup, you'll never see that again. It's, it's, it's an awesome experience if we can make it out there and represent the blue. Now, the last time I checked, there were still a handful of tickets left to the game. And even if those sell out, there are lots of Toronto fans who are trying to get rid of their tickets on eBay or Facebook. So the tickets are available. It's just a matter of getting there. Yeah, they just don't get how great this is. No. <laughs> Our local fans are now showing a lot of support for that backup quarterback. Have people been buying Ryan Dinwiddie jerseys? Absolutely. The ones they could get their hands on because there were only just a couple in the store this morning. It's not something they expected there would be a run on. So I think there were six here and they're all gone. There's a back order so the crew here has decided to stay work overtime and make those Dinwiddie shirts so we can wear them on Sunday as we cheer on the Bombers. Thank you so much, Lindsay. Lindsay Duncombe reporting live for you tonight. So who is this guy, number four, Ryan Dinwiddie? He's a young man under a whole lot of pressure right now. Imagine the Grey Cup will be his first ever start in a CFL game. Before yesterday, he'd thrown two dozen passes all season. But his old college coaches in Boise, Idaho, tell CBC News at 6, we fans have nothing to worry about. They say Dinwiddie can do it. Hear why they think he can deliver later in the show with Mike Beauregard. And remember, CBC Television is your Grey Cup station, the only place you can watch the Grey Cup game on Sunday. And CBC News at 6 will bring you live reports from Toronto starting Wednesday. Mike Beauregard will follow the Bombers to Toronto and bring you special reports as the Big Blue get ready to take on the Rough Riders. And Lindsay Duncombe will follow Bomber fans as they make their way to the Grey Cup. She'll be there for all the festivities, camera in hand. Tune into Information Radio 89.3 FN in the morning as well. Marcy Marcusa will bring you live reports of all the fun from the Grey Cup in Toronto. The rivalry between Regina and our city is already heating up tonight. Today, the two mayors made a uh, friendly wager over the game. Our mayor, Sam Cates, and Mayor Pat Friaco, Fiaco that is, agreed to make a bit of a swap, a bit of a deal. The loser would buy four season tickets from the winning team and donate them to charity. The losing mayor will also wear the winning team's jersey at a major intersection and at a council meeting. Keep your eyes open in our city for bomber flags. There's already one flying outside City Hall tonight. Those pictures just back in our newsroom now. The city says it will also fly these flags at the corner of Portage and Main and put up a banner inside City Hall. Very exciting news. Well, to our other top story tonight, not nearly as happy. It has happened again. Violence at the Empire Cabaret downtown. This